Hello and welcome to Football Shirt Hunting, the series in which we travel all around Europe hunting for obscure, rare and cheap football shirts. We do so by going to outlet malls, thrift stores and then we also have a section in each video where we ask a player for a match-worn shirt which will then be auctioned off for charity. So far we've had two episodes of that. They've both been unsuccessful and we're not doing it in this video because we did an away day and you'll see why if you've watched the away day. Also, here's a trailer for the away day on screen right now. Here come the PSG players. Anyway, back to this. The first two episodes of this have been really fun. We've done Budapest and Bucharest. Now we're in Marseille. Let's get into it. Three things before we go any further. Thing one, we're trying to hit 150,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you are new around here, please be sure to subscribe. Secondly, we are going to be giving away one shirt that we get in this episode of Football Shirt Hunting. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel. Then you have a chance of winning a shirt we get in this video. We'll reveal the shirt later on in the video. And thing three, Football Shirt Hunting European Edition is sponsored by Manscaped, the perfect grooming tool for men of all shapes and sizes. And you know, people like me, I kind of just exist. And if you weren't already aware, the Performance Package 4.0 is out now. And it features the Lawn Mower 4.0, which will keep you well groomed, it's water resistant, and also features a 4K LED light for precise grooming. The Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Trimmer to make sure you get rid of them annoying hairs. We've all got them. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, and once again, genuinely, it's a game changer. You also get the Crop Reviver, a pair of boxers and a travel bag to help you on the go as well. And best of all, you can save 20% on the Performance Package 4.0 using the code AWAYDAYS at checkout. Yes, you can save 20% on the Performance Package 4.0 by Manscaped using the code AWAYDAYS at checkout. Be sure to check out Manscaped at the top of the description. Let's get into this hunt. Come on then. Back to France! Right, so let's get into this then. We're going to start with the thrift store section. I actually think I'm less confident for France than I was Romania and Bulgaria because higher income countries tend to be, like, they're going to know the value of stuff more. It's going to be more expensive. It's going to be harder to obtain. Whereas, like, Romania and Bulgaria are countries where companies in England source shirts from. Well, they don't source them from France because the second-hand shirt market in France is quite popular. Um, so I actually think the pay place we're going to get best value is going to be the outlet mall section because football is massive here. So I'm hoping in the Puma outlets we might find some Marseille stuff, might be some PSG stuff in the Nike outlets, but I'm not too confident for the thrift store section. We'll get into it anyway and let's see how we do. Stop one of the thrift store section is a Humana Vintage. We go to these in every country. They're all around Europe. So far we've never found anything in one. It's going to change now. Come on. Let's go. It's an FC Copenhagen zip hoodie. But it is 29 euros. So, no. Damn. So, obviously, in the men's section, there wasn't anything but. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. At least we've seen something. That's a better start than we've had in some places. And actually, I think Jody found a Burberry belt in there, but didn't buy it. So we're thinking it might be early signs of promising. We'll see. Let's go on to the next one. Come on. I'm, as it, at this point, I'm full of confidence. But give it about an hour or so, and I'll be dead. Two seconds later. Forty-five. No. So far, two of the shops that we were supposed to go to have closed down. So we've been to four. Two, we got nothing. Two, they've closed down. I think I'm most excited maybe for the outlets because it's a country that lives and breathes football. So we might sign some amazing new shirts in the outlets, but maybe not the best one for retro and classic shirts. There's still quite a few shops to look in, but so far I'm a bit underwhelmed. Positive vibes only now. Up to the next one, one of the best vintage shops in Marseille. It's called Coco Vintage. It might not be cheap in there, but we're gonna find something, all right? We're gonna find something, all right? <laughs> Don't wanna talk about how that went. It's just, we've still got 
four shops to go in, so it's all to play for. Game of two halves, the second half, um, fans are great out there today. You know, People watching this being like, Ellis, that's how I feel. That is how I feel right now. Come on, on to the next ones, on to more disappointment. It's like when mum left, this is worse. I think we found potential. I find it funny, like, there's a lot of vintage stores, they just, yeah. why is it always so dark? <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, oh, oh, it's a template. Damn it. It's cool, though. How much? 25. Let's pop that back. I thought we'd struck gold. I thought we'd actually, you know. <sighs> Get me back to Hungary, even Romania. They call that little Paris. We're not in Paris. Oh, just... <sighs> so I just took an educated risk. There's this random sports store. There's loads across France. Um, the shirts are all legit. I checked the product codes and everything. I really wanted Marseille's away shirt from last season and we found it which was amazing. There might be some in the Puma outlets later, but I picked up for 39 euros, which is about 35 pounds. So for me, that's still a good price. We'll move on to the next. We'll keep going on our way to some thrifts, but at least we've got something. Next up, we have Space Vintage. The clothing options are out of this world. If this is 50 euros, I'm gonna go to space myself. It's fun. Brand new tags, 35 euros. My life has not been worthless. Come on. We got a shirt, 35 euros. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Moving on to the outlet section, we're here at MacArthur Glen, Provence, which has like Puma, Nike, um, there's some other sports shop outlets as well. This is the point, as I said before in the intro, I'm most confident for this section. So let's have a look around and see what we can find. Because I mean, we've got dead stock so far. It's going all right, it's going okay. It's all right, let's go. Come on then Puma, first stop. Jody, are you confident? No. Not confident. I think there's gonna be some Marseille things in here, surely. We're in Marseille. Please, please Puma. 63 euros minus 12, so it's 51 euros. So I did well to get it in the center. There's lots of Man City stuff. Um, I maybe thought there'd be cheaper Marseille or more Marseille, but we'll get the shirt for you guys from somewhere else because it's still quite pricey in here and I don't have much money. Kappa. Let's see if we can find some shirts to fit us like a thermal. That actually filled me with a bit of confidence though. They were quite pricey, but there was good selections in there. There's like Monaco's this season, last season, so... Hopefully Nike is good. Let's go to Nike. Come on. 35? 35 euros? Vape in it? It's not bad. 39.99, but minus 30%, so it should be 30. Giveaway, giveaway. So I did make a purchase, and I know I showed the PSG shirt and the Barcelona one, and I know I teased the Barcelona as a giveaway, but I thought, you know what? The PSG away shirt from last season in vape in it, which I don't even have myself. I nearly bought two, one for me, one for you guys, but now I was like, I've already got it, but just not in vapor, so why do I need two? This shirt, guys, we'll talk about it more in the outro, but. Last season's PSG shirt in Vapor is a giveaway for one of you. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel. I think that's our best giveaway we've done on the football shirt hunting series. Hopefully you guys, hopefully one of you anyway, is really pleased of it. Pleased? You'll be really pleased. Getting a bit weird now. One last stop for the day and the episode. New Balance. Can I get a woo? Oh, I'm so zoomed in on your face. My team. Ah, <laughs> uh, 56, not 12. Hello. 
Um, yeah, they had a Porto shirt, but it was 40 euros. Um, I love Porto, but I've, I've already got the shirt. And for 40 euros, probably cheaper than that in the Porto shop still, because it's last season's. Let's go home. Come on, you can stay here. I'll go, all right? Bye. I'm home. Right, before a few people in the comments section moan about me not finding as many as the previous two episodes, by the way, if you haven't seen them, link to the playlist in the description. We found some mental things. But before you have the audacity to moan, we went to more shops in France than I did in any other country. It's just, as I said in the intro, higher income countries are always gonna be so much harder. More people know the value of what they have. More people cherish the shirts more. For example, we went to Romania and Bulgaria, and the reality of the situation is lots of shirts are donated to these countries from countries like France and England. There's naturally gonna be more shirts in circulation and less of a market for them, hence why they're more common and easier to find. I was also just incredibly lucky in Budapest as well. Before the final day in Budapest, I actually had less than I have here. So bear that in mind. Let's go through what we got in France. I'm so happy we got this. This was one of the shirts I wanted most from last season. I thought it had escaped me. I thought I wasn't getting it in the end, but for 35 euros, which is about 30 pound, it's a great, it's a future classic. It's gonna be one of them Marseille shirts that in like 10, 15 years time, people are gonna be all over, trust me. Next up for 39 euros or 35 pound, we got the giveaway shirt. Once again, to have a chance of winning, like this video, subscribe to the channel, then you can win PSG's away shirt from last season in vapor. That is just, it, oh, I should have kept it for myself. I bought myself this as well. It's a, it, it's a bear, he's surfing. Quite like it. Grow up! Finally, in one of our more outrageous finds ever, it's Portugal's 04 to 06 home shirt, brand new with tags. And we picked this one up for 35 euros. Once again, 30 quid. Brand new with tags, just, you don't, you don't see it. You don't see it nowadays. This shirt, all in all, is probably worth, I'd say brand new with tags. People are gonna hate me for saying this right now. It's around a 100 pound shirt. If modern shirts are going for 100 new, a shirt that's over 15 years old, brand new with tags, is worth 100 pound. I know some people are gonna hate me saying that, but that's the reality of the situation and the market we're in right now. It's a good find. <laughs> yes, guys, so that concludes Football Shirt Hunting France edition. It's one of them where we've had arguably one of our best ever finds in a thrift store there with the brand new of Tag Portugal. Also the Marseille shirt I love. And also we've given away arguably the best shirt I've ever given away in this series. So obviously in terms of quantity, it's not been as good as the last two, but you could argue for quality. We're up there as well. We didn't do the match worn section because I was working with the league and make sure you watch that away day, by the way. It is insane, but there was never a point, especially with how insane that derby gets, there was never a point we were gonna get close enough at full time to ask for a shirt. So that's why we didn't include that section this week. Let me know where you think I should go to hunt for shirts next. Do you think we should try another big country like Germany? Lots of people have asked for me to go there before. Or do you think we should try somewhere random, like maybe Andorra? Let me know in the comment section down below. I've been Ellis. Be sure to subscribe for more football shirt hunts. Ciao, ciao. Bye.